dolls, it's Z and welcome to my digital diary. Hey guys, so it is another day. Oh my god, am I in focus? I think so. It is another vlogging day. I'm all over the place here. This is just going to be a few random spring reset days. So it's not going to be like consecutive days back to back. Um, but it is Wednesday, I think, the 13th, and I just got done shooting my spring haul video. So if you guys want to see my, like, annual spring haul, there was decor, there was juicy, there was, uh, beauty products, there was perfumes, there was clothes, there was quite a few things in that haul. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you do. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But today is Wednesday and outside of filming my goal for today is to set up the coffee bar or the tea bar i'm gonna do a tea bar so i did go to hobby lobby and pick up a few things which you guys by now have already seen in the hall so, so i picked up these like bouquet of flowers which i don't know if i'm gonna use this on the coffee bar or in the kitchen in a vase or in my bedroom i'm not entirely sure yet but i have these to use i'm just gonna show you guys everything that i like have i want to put this in the kitchen and also i have this i want to add in there i don't know what i'm gonna do with these like macaron candles yet so i have those like i have all of these like little cute springy decor things that we can use so i don't know where everything is gonna go but i did pick up some like really cute things just as, just in case you guys don't watch my hauls like most of you watch my sit down videos but not everyone watches the vlogs but in case anyone watches just the vlogs i'll show you guys again um but yeah this little stuff i'm not gonna show you everything just the stuff for the coffee bar right this little bunny and these so i want to head into there and start working on that i also pick up some moss to be imitation grass and these little cute wicker hearts this canister to put like cookies and snacks in or marshmallows i didn't even think about that like i can put them on the coffee bar and put marshmallows in them so those are the things that i want to be working with on my coffee bar so we're gonna do uh, that today and i'm not sure what else we'll get into the main goal for today was to film because today is one of my filming days and to do the coffee bar also before we go head into the kitchen to work on the spring coffee bar i want to show you guys i've just walked away as if you guys could follow me that's so weird because you i'm normally holding you guys but you guys are on a tripod so you can't go with me um i did just get a package i'm gonna show y'all what i got real quick and i'm having a little snack this is banana nut bread. I'm obsessed with it. It's the banana nut bread from Target. And I mean, no other banana bread will do. Like, I've made banana bread before. You guys have seen that. And it's pretty good, but it is not this. And baby, I tried Ralph's banana bread, and it is not this. Mmm, it's just so moist. It's perfect. And tell me in the comments below, are you the type of person who puts, like, chocolate chips in your banana bread because if you are a girl no stay away chocolate chips and banana bread mm -mm. so i realized i didn't do an ootd this purple summer floral dress that i got a while back i believe i actually got this from ross if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but it just has all of these pretty flowers on it and the back is completely out so it is a little scandalous y'all know i like me a scandal 
and it has like these little tassel ties on the shoulders and I got this cardigan that I got from Burlington recently she's cute I got this not this year but last year Valentine's Day I bought this for myself it's like a gold necklace and it's just cute I love it and then I'm wearing these earrings like little Victorian themed ones I hope you guys can see but I brought you dolls in here because I just had a package come in. Now, I've talked about this many times in this vlog already. I think I've mentioned it in this vlog before. I can't really remember because it's over a few days. But I, my brother is getting married. Congratulations. He's getting married in June. And I need to find a dress, you guys. So I don't want to wait till the last minute to start looking. So I've actually started my looking now or my hunting now, if you will. And this brand, Moo I think that's how you pronounce the name, either Mew Mews or Mew Mews. I'll put it up on the screen. They reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to try any of their dresses. Now, they are a luxury dress brand and girl. I went on their website and let me tell you. <laughs> It is gorgeous and I actually am going to probably hit them up again for New Year's because it is just, the dresses are gorgeous and beautiful on there. I will be sure to link their website below as well as the dresses that they sent me. So they did send this to me and no, this is not a sponsored video. I am not getting paid. They just reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out a few of their items. And of course you dolls know I had to ask them if I could get a code for you guys a discount i was like sure do you think i could get a little a little discount for my girls for my dolls and of course they said yes we will send you a discount code and they did i picked out three dresses from them and i'm gonna share them with you i also want to try them on to see which ones might be good potentials for the wedding so yay let's see so here are the dresses and i have picked three distinctively different dresses because i really didn't know what i wanted to go with for the wedding i was like you know i can go kind of casual but it's a wedding i should go kind of dressy and then i was like well a cute spring dress would be nice but then i was like but do i want to do short or long because it's gonna be in chicago in june so it might be hot because our summers get really hot they were so kind and by the way thank you thank you so much Ms. so this is the first dress wow they package this really well look at that the tissue paper has their brand on it and they also have like a brand sticker that's cute i love when packaging is on point you dolls know that oh they left me a little card movies card it says thanks it says we hope this package brightens up your day as much as your order has with us. We are grateful that you chose us to give you the main character moments you deserve. Yes, all of their dresses are main character. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us through and then they put their email. Also, don't forget to tag us on Instagram and use the code for 15% off your next purchase. I'm not going to put the this discount code up on the screen. I'm going to put my discount code because I believe my discount code is 20% off and this discount code is for 15% off. So you guys are going to get more with my code. So I'm just going to leave my code below. But this is so cute. How nice. She's giving luxury. Oh, shut up shut up this is quality look at the tag you guys it's like a thick cardboard like they are not messing around and they have this little thing on there that says if you remove it it can't be returned you guys look at this now i'm gonna pop up a photo on the screen of what the dress is supposed to look like but it is like this cute short blazer dress and i was trying to decide if i wanted to go more like i don't know like business -y. I don't know what I was thinking. Honestly, I guys, I had no idea what I wanted to wear. <laughs> but I know that my family is like very, very super, super conservative. I wanted to fit something in that would be appropriate with the wedding and with them and their values, but also not sacrifice my personality, you know what I'm saying? So I thought maybe try like a blazer dress, like a suit dress, because I feel like that could be really sharp. I don't know many girls that would go to a wedding in like a blazer or a suit but I also want to be feminine so I thought the combination of like a blazer dress would be really nice oh my god you guys the shoulder pads in this are so heavy I love this and the material is so nice look at the lining 
on that. That is so cute. Okay, I definitely have to try this out. Now, if you guys saw my haul video that I mentioned a little bit earlier, then you would have saw I got some earrings with flowers on them. There's pink. And I feel like this dress would match perfectly. I'm gonna go grab them. Okay, so here are the flower earrings, you guys. Like, uh, a match. That's just one pair of earrings that I picked up for a possibly to wear to the wedding. And yes, I did start picking out jewelry and shoes because I was like, ooh, these earrings just look like they would be really nice for the wedding. I don't know if they'll match my dress, but they were only $10, so I grabbed them. Let's go ahead and try this on and see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so this is the first dress. This is the suit. And I do have my bra on underneath. Um, it is a little bit big on me. I got a small. I am an extra small. However, they didn't have extra small, so I just got a small. I do really like the fit of this, though. Like, it hugs my curves really, really well. And it's short, but it's not too short. I feel like it's conservative enough for my family. Um, I do like the flowers here. I thought the flowers are going to be like on my boobs, which they might end up being. The only thing is, because I don't have any boobs, I am, it is opening up a little bit. So I might have to add another button there or pin that. But other than that, I think she's cute. It does look like I'm going to Sunday morning brunch. It does look like it could make a really good Easter dress as well. But look at the fit. Y'all, <laughs> stop playing with me. So, and also, I feel like I could use another button here or maybe just some Velcro to, sh to shut it. But like, I'll probably add a button up here and a button down there, only because I'm so tiny. So my curves isn't really holding the dress up. Um, so I'd probably close it all the way just because like I said, my, my family's conservative if I wore it to the wedding. Otherwise, you know, if I wanted to get a little scandalous, I could get like a really cute bra and wear it open like a bling bra, rhinestone bra, something like that. Okay, you guys, so I ran out of space on my memory card, so I had to switch it out. But I love this, even as like a cute little business meeting moment. It's really, really cute. And then with these flower earrings, you're dead. I just put you to sleep. But okay, look at that. Look at my body in that. The way it's hugging me. I love this. There are pockets, but they are not real. You dolls know how I love a real pocket, but I don't really think I would be putting anything in them at the wedding anyway, because I'm gonna have a bag with me, which reminds me, I need to find a bag. But first I should find the dress. Okay, so let's try the next one. Okay, so this one is a little bit more on the risque side. I, I kind of know for a fact that I'm probably not gonna wear this one, depending on how it fits because my family would probably not approve this, especially at a wedding. Um, you guys aren't gonna be able to see, and like I said, I'll pop the photo up on the screen, I'll try it on as well. But it's like this long maxi crisscross skirt with a really um, large split of the side of the leg. Yeah, yeah, this is not gonna work for the wedding. They're going not, they're not gonna like this. Maybe I feel like for like a bachelorette party or something like that it could work. I don't think I'm gonna be going to the bachelorette party though because it's actually on my birthday and I actually work. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to take a flight for the bachelorette party, come back, and then take another flight out for the wedding. I'm just gonna go for the wedding. Plus, it's my brother's wife, so she's probably gonna have all her girlies there, so I don't necessarily feel like I have to go. Anyways, it's like crisscross all of the body. And I'm gonna try this on because even if it's not good for the wedding, I think it'll work for like, a summer dress or like a party or something like that. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I'm not sure that I'm wearing this correctly because it was kind of twisted up, you guys saw, but I think this is the right way to wear it. I don't know. You can wear it a few different ways if you play with the tie, but I just looked at the model and the way she was wearing it and this looks right, but I could be completely wrong. This is the back of it, you guys. I hope that it's done right. I really like the scrunch, but I will say, however, you're going to need like seamless nude underwear because if you don't have that, you're going to be able to see, babes. You're going to be able to see. 
um but if you have on seamless nude you'll be fine this is a very long skirt like i have to wear heels because this is like there's like a train flowing behind me there's this really really high cut split at the side which is also <laughs> be careful girl <laughs> the booty will slip out real quick so be careful with that so because of this i really just definitely don't think that this would be um what i would wear to my brother's wedding but it is quite beautiful and i think it will be fun for summer and like a summer beach party there's also a split on this other side you guys can't see but it comes up to my knee then this is what the front is giving i will say it's a little bit big on me so there's like some ruching but i'm not mad about it because i feel like it fits in with the ruching on the top and also the ruching on the butt so it's kind of okay for me i still think it's a cute dress and i honestly i'm feeling this like for summer like girl give me a cute summer bag and let's go like how cute is this with some cute like sandals it's really pretty dress honestly it's like wow she looks like a goddess and it is a train there's like a train in the back and the booty is bootying do y'all see this my booty ain't never booty like this before and it's booty okay in this dress i love this okay show y'all this split and don't mind my legs not being shaved either but baby do you see this and this is the other side with the split hold on yes egyptian goddess like and here's the train you guys there's like a train that flows behind i hope you guys can see my underwear but yeah so i didn't rate the other dress but i'm probably gonna rate the other dress i would rate the other dress i would give it a 7 out of 10 because it does have elements of like more sophistication and i do feel like it does give wedding dress vibes and it does look exactly like the photo and it fits exactly like the photo so i want to give it a seven for that the only reason why i didn't give it a 10 is because there that split in the front is really hard to deal with so i'll have to add like a button down there to button it but other than that i thought the dress was really really cute and also the front part um there's a wide opening which would be fine if i was just going to like a holiday party but because i'm going to the wedding i'll have to add a button up there as well but other than that i loved dress number one so dress number one gets a seven out of ten this dress honestly for the wedding it, it's a no i cannot wear it to the wedding but for like a summer dress baby i'm gonna give this dress for the summer i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten the only reason why it doesn't get a 10 is because it is a little bit like on the sheer side like the material is thin and you definitely need to make sure you wear the appropriate underwear otherwise everything you're gonna see everything but other than that outside of the material being a little bit thin girl i love this for the summer like a cute summer party and it has a train like stop stop playing with me stop playing with me so yeah, this one's gonna be a nine out of 10 for me. And if, if the material, cause like the material for the top is double layered, but the material for the dress is single. I think if the material for the dress was double layered, like the top, it would it would have been 10 out of 10. It would have been 10 out of 10. But just because it's a little bit thinner material, I would say a nine out of 10. Ooh, don't play with them. I'm gonna have to hit them up during New Year's cause this is a bop okay hey you guys i'm on to dress number three and i'm actually really excited about this one because i feel like she's gonna be the one like she's definitely gonna be one of the options i take with me in case i end up changing my mind because i'm probably gonna take at least three outfits just in case because i'm one of those people where i'll plan out an outfit and the day will come and if i don't feel like wearing it it's just a waste because i'm not gonna wear it so i don't know what i'm gonna feel like on that day so I'm gonna bring three dresses, like I'm gonna bring two backups, a main dress and a backup. So I think she's gonna be it. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you guys, 
it is a midi dress oh you know what i should have been telling you guys the names of these i'll be sure to put the names up on the screen it is such good quality this looks so nice so here's the front of it there are two giant flowers on there how cute is that and then it also has like the stems and the leaves and i love that the stem and the leaf is in a different color like it's not green or anything like that i love that it blends in with the dress this is like my dream dress if it fits it would be definitely one of my choices for the wedding if it fits please let it fit i think that this one was only available in a small and so that's why i'm a little bit nervous because i couldn't get it an extra small like this dress was extra small the blazer dress was also an extra small and i just couldn't find this one an extra small so i'm a little bit nervous but you guys it's such good quality like look at this they have the anti-slip gripping liner oh my god and then the back is like corseted into this cute little bow it's so structured it looks like it's gonna hug me and hold in all the right places okay i'm excited bitch let's try this this is gonna look good with the earrings too okay you guys so this is the third dress it's like the flower midi dress and you guys i feel like this is probably definitely one of the choices it fits like a freaking glove i didn't even lace up the back it was really difficult i'm not gonna lie it was really difficult to get into even without it being laced up it still fits my body and hugs me pretty well that's what it looks like from the side um the dress goes pretty low like it's past my knee but it's not quite at my ankle and there is a split in the back you guys there is this split right there in the back there's also a zipper at the bottom here that I did not zip, so I hope I'm not showing you guys my underwear, but I probably am. So there's that. And she really does hug and scent you in, like you're in this. I feel like this might be the dress, or at least an option. It's a lot though at the same time, so I'm kind of like, I don't know. And even these, like, oh, I think this is the dress. I think this is, I think this is at least, let me, let me try these earrings on you guys. Yes. Okay. Say yes to the dress. Like, look at this. Come here, y'all. Come, 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 come here. Look at this. This is such good freaking quality. And wait, imagine when I lace it up, because I don't want to lace it up because it's so hard to get on. I don't, I know it's going to be hard to get off. But like, I just want to show you guys the top part, like how that's sitting. Once it's all laced up, it's going to hug the girls. Okay, I think I'm in love with this dress. So honestly, I'm gonna give this dress a 10 out of 10 because one, it meets all the requirements of my conservative family. So like, it's a long dress, it's below my knees and except for the shoulders being out. But other than that, I can bring like a sweater or a shawl. Um, it's covering, but it's also modern and kind of sexy in a way and it doesn't sacrifice my personality because this is a dress i personally would wear like i'm not just getting this only for my family i'm getting this because i actually like this style as well um well all of the dresses i picked so um, duh, i like them but yes i'm gonna give this dress a 10 out of 10 because this is definitely probably gonna be one of the picks that come with me okay you guys definitely definitely a check out moo's if you guys have not i will have the website link below along with all of the items that i showed you guys in this video along with the discount code i'll also put it up on the screen for you guys let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite which one do you think i should wear to the wedding i will be continuing dress shopping over the next few weeks so i'm going to show you guys what i find in the stores and stuff like that but this is a good start. We're off to a very good start. I think she, she's giving. I also just want to give a quick little shout out to Moomoo's and say thank you so much for partnering with me on today's video. I love everything. You guys are the best. I will definitely be hitting y'all up for New Year's because girl, y'all did that. Y'all ate. Hey dolls, so we are in my kitchen and excuse the mess that is my face, 
but we are in my kitchen and I wanted to go ahead and clean the coffee bar. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to decorate my coffee bar for spring. No, I don't know. I'm just not a huge Easter person, but I think I'm going to decorate my coffee bar for spring. So I want to clean it all off, get all of the Valentine's Day stuff off, and I want to start by decluttering all of my mug collection. So these aren't even all of my mugs. This one that I'm drinking out of, I'm actually going to be keeping. It came in a two-piece set from Target and it came with a black mug that said the king on it. So this one just says the queen. Um, that's why I'm drinking my cocoa out of it now because I am not going to be getting rid of this one. But I do want to go through all of my mugs and kind of just declutter them. And by the way, any of the mugs that I end up getting rid of will be sold on my Poshmark so I will leave the link in the description box below but uh, I am like dreading this so badly let me let me just <laughs> okay I feel a little bit better I am dreading this because I really don't want to throw any of my mugs away like I like them but this is just ridiculous it's ridiculous and I know that I'm just gonna buy new mugs and fill up the cupboard again. So that's the other part of it. But it's also just like there are a few mugs in here that I haven't drunken out of in a very long time and I don't use them. Like a lot of the Ray Dunn mugs I got for decor, I really don't use them that much anymore. So we're gonna go through those as well. I am probably going to start with the very top shelf only because I know that there is a lot of stuff up there that I don't use very frequently. So I'm gonna start over here and just pull this one down. So this one is a Ray Dunn mug and it just says, you guys can see Chaos Coordinator on it and it's like this really pretty pink color. It's not a light pink, it's more of like a dark coral color. I like this mug. I got this when I was a project manager. I'm no longer a project manager, so this I don't really drink out of or use that much. And even when I did have this, I didn't drink out of it. I used it to hold my pins on my desk. So it's more of a decor piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Next, I have this Maridan mug that says jelly beans on it. And I literally only use this for Easter and spring decor. And you guys know I'm not a huge fan of Easter. So like this is like the most I'll do, like get a mug like this and I might fill it with like Easter eggs or something like that. But since I am thinking about decorating for spring this year, I'm thinking about using these down here. So I'm thinking about using these on my coffee bar. So I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile, which will be down on my coffee bar. Let's see. Honey Bunny, another Ray Dunn mug. Same style and color. Just one says Honey Bunny, one says Jelly Beans. And I specifically, like I said, pick these up for spring decor. So I might keep those. And I might just put like a bunch of like Easter eggs in this one and then or I might put a flowers in one I don't know but I'm thinking about keeping these a mat Ray Dunn I woke up like this I'm gonna let this one go oh I love this one a matte Ray Dunn mug that says need coffee right meow like a little cat I really like this one I like it because of what it says do I need it no but it's so cute okay i'm gonna put this in the maybes hot mess another ray dunn mug i'm gonna go ahead and let this one go as well another ray dunn mug this says tougher together i'm gonna put this in the cell pile for now aloha beaches <laughs> i don't know i just think that's so cute and it has the lid topper to it you could also put them on any other cups as well yeah I don't know, I really like this one. I think it's really cool, especially for like the summer, if I wanted to do summer decor. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one for now. Mermaid vibes. And it has a little mermaid tail topper. Again, a decorative piece. And I think it would be cute for a summer decor. I feel like those two go together too as well. I don't know, I might go ahead and sell this one. 
So I have this orange jack-o-lantern mug that I got from Target last year, Halloween. Obsessed with this little guy, so he's going to be staying. This kitty cat also from Halloween last year, pink pumpkin kitty cat. Like, I cannot get rid of this. This is too forky cute. Okay, so I have this black Halloween cauldron. I also have a white mug but I don't know where I put it and I think I may have stored it in my Halloween decorating bin so it might be in there but I do have two of these and I think I like this black one better so I'm gonna go find the white one and I'm probably going to go ahead and ditch that one because I do like the black one better it has like the stars and the moon on the back so I'm gonna keep my ghost mug, the infamous viral ghost mug, I definitely will be keeping her. We have our pink jack-o'-lantern mug from Michaels last year, definitely keeping her. She's so cute on the coffee bar, we really don't want to give her away. Okay, I also have this jack-o'-lantern like wine glass that probably shouldn't be up here, it should probably be in another cupboard. So I'm going to take this out, I'm going to keeping this. So I have this two-piece set it's just pumpkins you have a white one with pink pumpkins and a pink one with white pumpkins and they're just really cute and i use these all fall so i really do like that it's not really halloween and i need a fall cup so i have this really pretty hocus pocus mug i think i'm gonna part with this i've had this for two years and it's really cute holds a lot of tea and coffee but I don't know you guys i don't know this is gonna go on a maybes um i have these hello pretty mug with the witch on it she's a keep this one has like little ghosts all over it and it says boo on it definitely gonna be keeping this one okay they come down the top shelf is pretty much done we're gonna attack this second shelf I have this little toy soldier i hope you guys are seeing everything i know the lighting is just the lighting is lighting okay it's lighting okay can you see i hope you can see but it's just a little pink toy soldier mug this is incredibly difficult to hold the handle to drink out of so i never use it for that i just use it for decor got this last year and i will be keeping this one okay we're gonna have to speed up because it's a lot of mugs but i have quite a few marie mugs so i'm i'm feeling like i might have to get rid of some but i really don't want to so i really like this one with the bow handle i'm gonna keep it keep <gasps> it's so cute keep the only hello kitty mug that i own um i think I'm gonna keep her happy smile I don't know um donate keep keep this is so good for like soups and stuff like that so definitely gonna keep this one and even ice cream I eat out of here oh let's see this one I really really like I'm gonna keep this one definitely a keep I think permanently tired see the thing about this is i love the size of this cup like you can honestly put so much like coffee tea or even a smoothie in here so i like that but like do i need this mm, i don't have any other mugs the size of this i think i'm gonna put this in the possibly get rid of i don't know i kind of want to keep it keep bull digger like are you kidding me keep this is so cute it says life is better with cats so true and it has like little cat print heads on it keep oh okay oh this is the like only disney princess mug that i have okay that's a lie i have another disney princess mug do i need more than one disney princess mug I mean, I'm keeping three Marie mugs. Like, I just really like this one and I drink out of it a lot. It did get chipped in the dishwasher, um, but it has Jasmine and it has Tiana, which are my two favorite princesses. And Aurora, I like Aurora too, because I feel like I'm most like her. She sleeps a lot and pink dress, you know. 
I don't know. It is missing Pocahontas, though. They're wrong for that. And Mulan. Where's Mulan? See, what can you do? But I really do like this mug. But is it too juvenile? But, like, what is juvenile? You know what I mean? Like, you can really have whatever you want. I think I'm going to keep this. And I do really like this mug. It says happiness lies within. It's just a really nice reminder. And I just like the way that they use like the color blocking in this. Say, so I'm gonna keep her. Oh, this one I love. I use this one a lot. This is the vintage uh, mini mug. I love it. So I have more than actually one Disney mug. I have two Disney princess mugs and then a mini mug. So, okay, this one, obviously this is not practical and I don't drink out of it, but I got it because I thought it was really cute and decorative. Actually, this will be really cute for like the coffee bar in springtime, like with that, and can fill it with stuff. I don't know. See, that's the problem, you guys, because not all of the mugs I use to drink out of, like some of them I use to decorate, so it's like... How many mugs do you actually need? Well, I'm not drinking out of all of them. Some of them I'm using for decor. So that's why there's so many of them. I feel like this should be sold, but I also feel like it would be really cute in the kitchen, just like for decor. I'm gonna put it over in the sale pile because I'm gonna look at all the sale stuff anyway before I actually sell it, so. So I have this cute elephant. He's just so cute, like a cute little baby elephant. Do I drink out of this? Absolutely not, it's so awkward. But for decor, like, it's like a cute pink baby elephant. I don't know, should we get rid of the pink elephant? The elephant in the room. <laughs> I think I like this for like a play on words for, like my TZ episodes. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I love this one, but I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. It is this cute a gray mug. Oh, I really want to keep her. You dolls know how I love cats, but oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Like, like. I think I'm gonna put her. And I love funky mugs, you guys. I love funky stuff like this. This is so funny. And this is so funny. Like, so cute. Okay. I'm going to just put this in the maybe sale pile, which I'm going to put over here for now. So I have these little sweetheart candy ones. Of course, we're keeping this. I have this Christmas mug. I love it keeping it and here's the other disney princess mug and i really like this one a lot it's like light pink and it's tiny it has tiana bell um uh, i don't know why they put the tangle girl on here like whatever and aurora we really should have put jasmine i don't know what they were thinking but i am going to be keeping this one see this is what i mean you guys like do i really need two disney princess mugs or can I and will I be okay with one Disney princess mug? I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, should I get rid of this one, you guys? I feel like I'm being greedy and I'm keeping all of these mugs and I don't need to keep them. Like, I don't, I don't need this. This is one of my favorite mugs, though. I drink out of this, like, all the time. But I don't want to get rid of that one because that one's just magical. I love that one. You guys, oh, I'm going to put this down here. I don't know. I might get rid of it. Oh, okay. So I have this Hello Gorgeous mug. Just a classic and I do drink out of it an awful lot. This is the uh, Merry Christmas mug. got this from Hobby Lobby and it's perfect for drinking, not drinking, eating soup out of. It's like a soup mug. So I definitely want to keep this this infamous gingerbread mug that everyone keeps asking where i got it from i got it from target i believe yeah i got it from target um so i definitely will be keeping him i love him he's just for decor though this is a set of a gingerbread when you put them together they look like a gingerbread house and you dolls know every year for the most part i decorate my kitchen gingerbread theme 
and it's just so cute it's a set of two i love them it does kind of seem a little awkward when you drink out of just one but i don't know you guys okay i think i'm gonna put it in the maybe sale pile this one i'm gonna be keeping a brand sent it to me and i just think it's really cute especially for valentine's day decor so i'm gonna be keeping this one for sure another elephant mug okay zuri maybe you need to get rid of one so here's another elephant mug i don't know why i like elephants you guys <laughs> um i definitely am going to be keeping this i think it's really pretty and i think this will fit in with the moroccan theme that i want to do in the kitchen as well so if i did my bar moroccan theme i would use this on the bar got this one this year as well for christmas and it says jingle all the way on it vintage christmas keep oh this is one of my favorite mugs i'm definitely going to be keeping this one and i got this one from world market was it world market no it wasn't world market nordstrom rack and it did get messed up because bunny put it in a dishwasher without my permission so one of the cats on here i don't know where she is but she's fudged up yeah one of the cats on here is like fudged up but i love this i also love drinking out of clear mugs where you can see like the tea and stuff inside it's just really cute we'll be keeping this one love this one it's by peppermint lane it says christmas vibes only and in the middle or inside of the cup it has like what am i trying to say it has candy cane stripes so a keep it says love keep um little rudolph keep peppermint and pine mug for christmas snowflakes keep you are radiant i just like what it says and i also like the shape of it keep this is just a classic mug that i'm always drinking out of so i'm gonna keep this one this one is from ikea i love these mugs these are one of the nicest mugs that i've ever had it's so basic but it's so freaking nice so i want to actually get a whole set of these so i'm going to be keeping this one and then this one is giving me coquette vibes i think this is like really pretty for like spring decor it is chipped i got this from target it's from the simply shabby chic line i feel like i should sell it but the problem with selling this is there is a little chip on it and that i just don't want i feel like it's dangerous and i don't really want to sell it to anybody of course i would take a photo of the chip and like when i put it in the listing i would say please warning there's a chip on the side and everything like that but i also just don't feel like i should just put it up there with the chip right there so i kind of feel like it might look cute on the coffee bar for decor so i think i'm gonna keep it right now for spring decor oh look at him he's so cute so my little teapot and tea cup with a lid definitely keeping these um but i have to put them at the top because yeah i don't want them to break down here just a few more you guys we're almost done so i have this a 20 a 20 just getting started this was like pandemic era and i was just like i just kept telling myself we're gonna get out of this quarantine we're gonna have a fresh new life and a fresh new start and that's why i picked up this mug um and it says just getting started and it reminds me of that but it also reminds me of a very very rough time during the pandemic in my life so i kind of am going to let it go because of that so i have a few tumblers which i'm not going to be storing my tumblers up here anymore and i'm not going to be decluttering them either because i literally only have like four tumblers but this ray dunn one this is eye candy and i also have this one this says you're like really pretty and i got this from target so target dollar spot i like both of these and like i said i'm not decluttering my tumblers i'm only decluttering the um mugs so that's pretty much it you guys i don't think that there's any more mugs hiding around i looked around the kitchen already so i think that's pretty much it i may have some other mugs like in my decor bins which i'm not going to go through my decor bins to pull all that stuff out mm -hmm. it just it doesn't make any sense to do that um and it's probably going to be used for decor anyway so it's okay that it's in the decor bin so yeah this is pretty much it i'm gonna pack all this stuff back in and then we're gonna go over to the pile that i have and we're gonna go over the pile that i have to 
possibly give away um, and see what we're actually going to keep and what we're actually going to give away. So I think let me do that really fast. And also, I just want to say in any of my declutter videos, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that sometimes if I post something up to sell and it doesn't sell and I've decluttered it, I will take it off of my Poshmark and I will put it back into my collection. So there's always a chance and off chance where I change my mind and I end up keeping something. So if you see me declutter something, but then later in a video, you see it back in my cupboard, it's probably because it didn't sell and I decided I didn't want to just throw it away and waste money. So I just wanted to give that little quick disclaimer. So you might see some of this stuff again later if it doesn't end up selling. So here are the Ray Dunn mugs over here that I'm thinking about keeping. So I have the Jelly Bellies one and I also have the Honey Bunnies one. I think this is going to be really cute because for spring I have a lot of Ray Dunn decor anyway. And I don't mind the Ray Dunn decor in the kitchen right now. Like once I update the kitchen obviously it probably won't work as well. But right now it works very well because the kitchen is so old and it does look kind of like this cabiny old feel to it. So I feel like the Ray Dunn mugs right now will match very good for spring so I am gonna keep these two especially so the next two mugs I have you guys already saw is the tougher together which I think is really really cute for a Valentine's Day like decor like coffee bar sorry about that camera battery died and I don't get it because it's been on the charger all night yet the batteries keep dying every second anyways I feel like this would be cute for Valentine's Day coffee bar so I kind of want to keep it and then this one I just love the <laughs> need coffee right meow even though I'm not even a coffee person I don't know maybe this one can go and I will keep tougher together for decor. Okay, so then we have mermaid vibes. Like, girl, when? Because when? Like, I guess I could do like, for the summertime, I could do like a mermaid and like beach themed coffee bar for the summertime. That might be fun. And then I could use these for that. Okay, so I might go ahead and just keep these for now until I figure out what I wanted to do for a summer coffee bar. All right, so now we have all of these. These, let's go through them. Happy Smile, love the shape of this mug, but I do have another mug that's the shape of this and I don't feel like I need it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Also, you guys, I have two other mugs that I already packed away to get sold it was like a gingerbread christmas mug and then i forget what the other one was but i already packed those away so i can't really show you those right now um chaos coordinator we're gonna get rid of that one. Ooh, i woke up like this as much as i hate ray dunn her mugs are cute for decor hot mess also or leaving this need coffee right now and hot mess I don't know okay I think I'm gonna let hot mess go okay I think that's what we're gonna do 2022 just getting started that's gonna go okay this is where things get a little bit scary the what do we do guys what do we do I really want to keep this mug but do I need two princess mugs and you guys don't need to know my age just answer the question do a grown woman need two disney princess mugs i think we have to keep her you guys like every time i look at this because i really have had a hard time finding mugs that have tiana on it like the ethnic mugs like not ethnic mugs but the mugs that have the ethnic princesses so that's where i'm just kind of like mm. I guess I can keep this one and if I find a better mug, I'll just have to give one to get one. You know what I mean? So I'll just have to sell one to get one. But I think we're going to keep this one. I think so. Ah! I don't know what to do with this one. <laughs> okay. The kitty cat mug. She's so cute though. Like what? Is this not an aesthetic? I don't know you guys I don't think I want to get rid of her I think I kind of like her and she's like the perfect size I must admit I don't drink out of her often which uh, 
kind of pains me because she is so cute uh you guys i don't know i don't know i don't know i want to keep her okay i can't think about her right now i have to move on to the next thing okay so our donuts what do you guys think about this we don't drink out of it at all it would strictly be for decor on like a tier tray or something i feel like i could even use this for my mrs claus bakery shop decor in the kitchen one christmas as well I haven't used it yet, but I feel like I could use it for that. What do you guys think? I I want to get rid of it because I feel like I don't drink out of it, but it's like you don't have to drink out of every mug to keep it. Okay, hello. I think I'm going to keep it because even for spring, even if I just kept it for spring and I changed my mind and sell it later, even for spring, this is cute on the spring coffee bar. Like it has all the spring colors. I don't know. Oh no, you guys, we're going backwards. We're going backwards. This is really bad. Ah, I want to keep her so bad. Okay, so then we have these. You guys, I think I'm going to let these go. I think they're cute, but I think I can... I think I have cuter gingerbread mugs. Like the gingerbread man, I feel like it's cute. Although I did get rid of my other gingerbread mugs, so... I don't know. I think for now I'm going to try to sell it and then I might change my mind about this one. So I'm happy. Okay, you guys. Um, for the little kitty mug, y'all, I have to keep it a little while longer. I just have to. I'm sorry, but I have to. <laughs> okay, you guys. So here are the mugs that I decided to get rid of. So technically this is a two set. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm getting rid of six mugs plus two that I already have. Uh, and it might be listed. Hold on one second. Let me check actually. Yeah, you guys. So I, I just realized I could just show you on Poshmark. Hold on one second. Okay, so here they are actually. Um, so it's this like blue gingerbread mug. If you guys are interested, go check it out. It's one of my favorite mugs and I'm selling it for $5. I can't believe that. And look, you guys, we don't even make a lot of money because on Poshmark, they take out a fee. So $5, I'm literally giving this away, but it's so cute. And I constantly think like, I wanna put it back in my collection if no one buys it. And then I also um, decluttered this pumpkin mug. I love the colors on this, it's like pastel and um, prime colors. And they're really pretty. The inside is like this blue till color but yeah those are the two mugs that i've already decluttered so technically i've decluttered two three four five six seven eight mugs which i think is good so now you guys i'm gonna take a little break i don't know if i'm gonna come back today or maybe tomorrow and we're going to work on the coffee bar because i actually want to go ahead and run to the store and pick up things to decorate the coffee bar with because I don't have everything I need. So that's it for the declutter. I think I did really good. Like I said, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the mugs or anything you guys see me decluttering, check out my Poshmark. I also have a Macari where I sell my fragrances. And I also am on Facebook Marketplace where I sell things like furniture and larger household items. So check me out on those platforms if you're interested, but yeah. Oh no, you guys, I've already broken my bunny. <sighs> Sad about this. Um, I loved this bunny. He was from the dollar store and he was so cute and he looked like a real bunny and I like bunnies that look real. I'm gonna have to find something similar to him later on, but that is, ugh, this is not going well. <laughs>
Okay, dolls, so it is a little bit later, but I finally kind of am finished, at least for the day, with the coffee bar. So I did leave the garland up, the heart garland, just until I get a new garland. I want to put like a flower garland up. So, but for now, I just left it. Um, and yeah, this is what she's looking like. I might add more. Um, I might move a few things around and you guys will definitely see that in my vlogs and stuff, but I think she came out pretty cute, honestly. Um, I really like the tiered tray corner. Um, I've been trying to do this process that I actually learned from Angie Bellamar. She does a lot of decor videos and I love her decor videos. She's kind of a maximalist as well. And she does like controlled chaos is kind of her motto. Like you don't want to put chaos everywhere. You just want to have corners and pockets of controlled chaos. Sorry if you guys hear Pinky chomping on her food right now. Um, she is eating right over there. So that's that. But yeah, so I did like this little corner of controlled chaos. And I feel like it's chaotic, but it's beautiful and it's controlled. Um, I do have to add a little um, saying in here. Obviously, I don't want to say like 19, 4 <gasps> his and hers hobby lobby you know so i want to change this out it's going to say probably t with c but i want to make like a really cute little print and then i put the marshmallows back into this little canister you guys saw me do that yeah but i love this this is probably my favorite um one of my favorite tier trays that i've done so far i also want to add some flowers i kept this a uh, little letter holder from Valentine's Day and I want to add some flowers in it so I'm gonna do that over here I added some flowers to the teapot I thought it looked really really cute I tried to add the string lights into the flowers and it looked crazy so I just put the little twinkle lights around it um, and of course I have this little guy I'm gonna add some little stirs I think in there or I might even add like just a tea light candle for now I think that'll be cute but yeah i love my little pockets of controlled chaos i still try to keep the majority of the counter space open i mean i never really do anything back here most of my doings happen up here like towards the front of the counter so i think she's cute just gotta switch out the garland i think it'll look much better once the garland is like flower garland but yeah, leave you guys' suggestions in the comments below what you think, if you like it. I also ended up hanging up the tea mugs um, because they matched the teapot and I felt like this was like a cohesive little corner. So I took down the Ray Dunn Honey Bunny and Jelly Beans mug, but I think I'm going to hang those up in my kitchen somewhere for spring decor. So I did decide just after doing this coffee bar, I got so excited and I did decide that I'm gonna go ahead and decorate. I'm sorry, I'm touching the mic too much. But I did decide that I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the rest of my kitchen for spring. So yeah, I'm gonna try to steer away from the Easter eggs though because y'all. <laughs> Anyways, this is what she's looking like. The sun is going down and I just got a package. Baby, go back in the bag. Go back in the back, yeah, yeah Feel like a kid when I'm with you There's nothing better than that Baby girl, back in the back, yeah 